Hi friends, welcome to Tech Trends. In this video, we can see how to get the temperature and humidity readings and store that values in a SD card. Let's get started. For this experiment, the commoners required are Arduino board, SD card module, temperature and humidity sensor, a memory card, card reader, connecting OS and connecting cable. First, let's connect the SD card module with the Arduino board. This SD card has 6 pins. So connect the 3v3 pin to 3 volt pin in the Arduino board and connect the CS pin to pin 10 and connect the MOSA pin to pin 11 and connect the CLK pin to pin 13 and connect MISO pin to pin 12 and connect the ground pin to the ground pin in the Arduino board. Now we connected the SD card module with the Arduino board. Now we need to connect the temperature and humidity sensor with the Arduino board. So from the temperature sensor, connect the plus pin to the 5 volt in the Arduino board and connect the pin out to the pin number 4 in the Arduino board and connect the minus pin to ground pin in the Arduino board. Now we need to insert the memory card in the SD card module. This is our circuit connection. Now connect the Arduino board to the laptop and upload the program. For this experiment, we need to install the libraries SPI, SD and DHT. Then select the board from tools, board. Arduino AVR boards and then select Arduino Uno and then select the port. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the Arduino board. Now the program is uploaded. Now we can check the output in the serial monitor also. Click this icon and select the baud rate as 9600. So here we can see the temperature and humidity readings and also the date and time. Once we uploaded the code, wait for a few minutes and then remove the SD card from the SD card module and insert in the card reader. Now insert this card reader in the laptop and you can see a file called DHT log and from in that file you can see the temperature and humidity readings. Now insert the card reader with the memory card in the laptop and open the file DHT11 log and in this file you can see the temperature and humidity readings which we got from the temperature sensor. 